A data pool is the engine of the data-driven research approach. Data pool is another word for the common database which stores all information which we can access via a network. A filter is an algorithm for a selector from the data pool. The filter determines which subset of data will be chosen from the data pool. The filter process results in a pattern. A pattern is a system which we examine in our research, for example, the network of interacting proteins involved in the maintenance of pluripotency. This pattern is subject to a scientific evaluation, for example, by experiments. This pattern evaluation again results in new data which are in a feedback loop placed back into the data pool. This structure can for example be seen in the string software suite. The data pool string is a database of known and predicted direct or functional protein interactions. The database consists of 2,590,259 proteins and 630 organisms. The data are derived from genomic context. High throughput experiments, co-expression data and previous knowledge. Filter. One or several protein names or sequences can be placed in a search field. We can, for example, submit the pluripotency related protein POU5F1. This results in an algorithm with a pattern as the output. Pattern. We will get POU5F1 interacting proteins a picture of a pluripotency-related protein network. We shall notice that we only need to know the name of one protein in order to obtain a more complex pattern. If the protein-protein interactions are predicted and not known facts, we can validate these interactions in further experiments. The new data can then subsequently be submitted to the database. The next researcher who will record this pattern will get more complete picture. And now a few words about the different components of the data-driven research approach. We start with the data pool. Data are observed facts. They are not reasoned statements, not controversial and intersubjective. However, these facts are not always objective because they depend on a theory. The facts are connected by a fact-specific connector to logical words. Logical words are if so if and only if, or, not, and, is, and all, some, none, and is like. The data pool is the sum of all store facts and the connection to logical words. And now the filter. Starting point for a filter is a scientific question. A filter can be based on facts or ideas. Thus, materialistic or idealistic concepts can underlie a filter. These concepts are the basis for the algorithm 
which will be used to define the subset from the data pool. This algorithm is, as the data, theory dependent. Since it's possible to set a filter after very different criteria, we can get everything from a robotic to an art-orientated science. As the data-driven research approach become well-defined, it will be programmable. If you look at the example of string, it will be possible to achieve a fully automated scientist. The computer can identify patterns and figure out which protein-protein interactions are based on facts and which are predicted. A robot measuring protein-protein interactions can then be used to measure the predicted interaction. The data can then be placed back in the pool. The whole process is fully automated. On the other hand, a mind-derived, creative, artistic idea can be used to set a filter. We get an art-based filter algorithm. It is interesting to notice that one do not need a complete knowledge of the pattern. Due to the connectors between the facts, an incomplete filter will be able to extract a large pattern. The pattern. A pattern is an open system. It contains facts. Logical words are bound via connectors specific to the facts. This gives a network of correlated facts. Since the system is open, we always have facts which have an unknown correlation to this network. We have a complex system and not a monocausal. It is worth to notice that the anatomy of the pattern is dynamic. The pattern depends on the number of feedback cycles. It depends on the new data which we get from the pattern evaluation and which are put back into the data pool. Pattern Evaluation In the next step we need to evaluate if the pattern is true and complete. Are for example all protein-protein interactions based on facts or are they predicted? Are we lacking unknown protein-protein interactions? If we lack data, we need to perform further experiments in order to complete the pattern. If the pattern is true and complete, we can concentrate on the application of the pattern. We can use the pattern to build new theories or we can use it for practical applications. In line with this, we can design on the base of the pattern a novel synthetic biological pattern. Altogether, this will result in new data, which can be submitted back into the data pool. One should notice the following interesting observation. An interesting moment is when we reach the point of pattern completion. This means at the point where we have huge data amounts in the data pool. At this point, the practical applications, such as synthetic biology, will gain importance in the cycle. Data feedback loop to the data pool. An important feature of the data-driven research approach is a feedback loop to the data pool. The data pool 
is permanently connected to communicating computers and the people behind these computers. These communications put the data in a context, a constant evaluation of the pattern in these networks will dynamically fill the data pool and dynamically change the pattern anatomy. This process will be very fast due to the large size of the network. A constant flow of data is observable. In the following, we have to examine the logical structure of the data-driven research in the same manner as we did for the hypothesis method. Basically, the pattern is a subset of the data pool. This means that the pattern is deduced from the data pool. Deduction is a logical true method since it concludes from general to special. Let us have a look at the logical form we can find in the data-driven science. The data pool is our collection of facts. These facts can be either true, false or probable, depending on the quality of our measurements and our signs. The data pool in its whole can be either complete or incomplete. This pool is the starting point of our research. We apply our research method on this pool. The logical form used in this method is called modus ponens. We know if P so Q. We observe P and we conclude Q is correct. This conclusion is correct. As in our previous example, we know if it's raining so the streets are wet. We observe it is raining. We conclude the streets are wet. This is true since it's impossible to find the contrary example. In the data-driven approach we find. We define a filter and get as a result a pattern. Thus we know if filter so pattern. We apply the filter and get a pattern. This is logical true. In this concept the pattern is as true as the input data from the data pool. Novel measurement of data increases the truth of the pattern. The data feedback to the data pool increases pattern truth. In conclusion, the quality of the data in the data pool are the key. The pattern is dependent on the kind of filter we define. However, the logical truth of the pattern is independent of the filter. All kind of filters result in logically true patterns. It does not matter if the pattern is by a robot, if it's artistic, based on materialism or idealism or whatever. The data-driven science approach changes the scientific method and results in a praxis called science to zero.